So coming up on the show this morning, we have two big treats. British superstar chef Nigella Lawson is here to cook for us, and the entire cast of Stargate Universe is here, including Ming-Na, who you've <laughs> also seen on ER, and is two and a half men. So for our Friday panel, we thought we'd talk food and science fiction, all <laughs> in one big serving. <laughs> and and it, this is, and we should point out, this was not prepared by Nigella. <laughs> this is no, no, <laughs> the disdain here. No, you're, I'm not you're, no, 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 you're backing saying, away. This is this this is food as science fiction, isn't it? it <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I mean. We were going to ask you about is because uh, every once in a while in the headlines they come up with these crazy, massive burgers that you couldn't re you couldn't even put your mouth around that. And but people seem to it's almost like this is the next stage of comfort food. And yeah. we're just what is it about things that are so bad for us that either smell or taste so good? Why would someone reach for that? Well, you know, greed. <laughs> or a hangover. I mean, that is, you know, I think, or hangover. yeah, hangover really, because I mean, in a, in a way, it, that is carbohydrate and fat, yeah, which are right. very very soothing in combination. Sure. If you add to that salt, which I presume is in there, Loaded, that really probably. is the sort of the comfort slash hangover cure trifecta, isn't it? <laughs> well, now look at the names, the big Kevorkian, huh? The big Kevorkian. Does that mean, yes. I yeah, that's what that means. Yes. This is the quadruple. I think that means bypass, but I'm not sure. Yes, uh, well, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. And yes. the interesting thing Spanish. about all of these is they're apparently really popular. There's this one spot that, you know, people just go and everybody, and it's word of mouth and they all go down. And maybe it is after some libation or some evening full of that. But it's just, there's something about this kind of food. Mm -hmm. Loads of cheese, loads of grease. I mean, I could grease. do it, I have to say. Yeah, I, I could do it. Would you ever I, eat something like this? Uh, I have. <laughs> these look, these I mean, look I look good, yeah, don't they? This looks a little nasty to you me, see, I could do that. You could I think do that, right? Tabasco, and yeah. I could do them. Okay, they're the... But, what's that one? Do that, the joke? Is it kind of sugar? gravy and cheese on fries, isn't it? Yeah, all yeah. poutine. But it's too soggy looking. I could do that so easily. And and it would taste a lot. I'm sure it would taste a lot better. And you've done... But look at you, and you're so thin, so you don't do that very often no 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 I eat tremendous amounts of food and <laughs> and I just have a fast metabolism so I knock Please, on wood could you know but I, but I, I, gave, no, no, I, I gave up sugar I gave up sugar for a week uh, no for five weeks and I fell off the wagon and I have been carving out uh -oh. like crazy yeah. I had calamari last night <laughs> I, I had like I wanted to get yeah. all the fried foods I could <laughs> there's just something wonderful about eating if you're going to throw caution to food. the wind, you do that. What would you do if it just if you were to, you know, have your favorite comfort food as a treat? Um, well, I always do, so wouldn't, there's, no, there's no big change there. <laughs> I'll tell you what I think I might do is actually I'd have a really huge loaf of bread. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, with <laughs> butter. Lots of. <laughs> Uh, blue cheese, the sort of cheese that you know that left mm. another day, it could take over the universe. <laughs> Talking of science fiction. I love it. Really alive and mm. pongy. What's mm. your, come on, what's your treat? Well, you know, I'm a chocolate guy, but, you know, yeah. I, I really, and you know, I'm a, I couldn't, I could not eat that. I couldn't yeah. eat any of this. I couldn't do it. I could in my youth. I ate four pounds of steak once at a restaurant in Miami to get my name <laughs> on a plaque on the wall. <laughs> and I, had, I know, and I had the two pieces of key lime pie and seven ounces of Jack Daniels to help me around, but I could not today get that down. I couldn't do Even it. Even after the Jack. I in, in, in an emergency, I'm sure you could. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I could. In case of an emergency, and we're declaring emergency right now. Yes, um, I, coming <laughs> off on the show, of course, Nigel's going to cook for us. We also have the cast of um, Stargate Universe, which is so amazing. The fans are just so attached to this That's show nice. and when you think about it with Big Bang Theory and yeah. all the others this Glee. science geek thing even uh, even a music geek yeah. all that that mm -hmm. is so popular what is it about these science fiction movies uh, or well shows shows. In this I mean I, I've been a science fiction fan forever I mean I, I now I can actually proudly say I was president of my science fiction club in high school and not, <laughs> yeah. and not feel like you know something I should be ashamed of um, I don't know I, I think I uh, think most of us at heart relate more to the, and I'll use the term we're using, kind of geek thing, <laughs> yeah. than the high fashion uh, shows or the friends type of show where, mm -hmm. you know, which could never exist. Don't you think we relate on a deep down basis to, I'm sort of like that guy. <laughs> yeah, this is all yeah. a facade. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like him. Or, you know, when you hear somebody goes, yeah, that's exactly how I would handle that. Yeah. I think that's what we get in the shows like that. I think you want but to cheer for the about relationships, yeah. though, in the end. Mm -hmm. So, in a, in a way, it doesn't matter where something is set, yeah. because when there are people involved, that's about, a re that's about relationships and how people interact, mm -hmm. and we all project ourselves into that, I suppose. I mean, I don't know that it makes 
it makes the difference where if it's set in what particular century or planet mm. or anything. Right, right. I think the story is always the most important yes. and characters that you can relate to no matter if they're aliens or, um, you know, or <laughs> if... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, story is the most important. Yeah. Do you have a favorite science fiction show or movie? Well, I always like, this is, it goes years, years back, but I always like um, Star Trek Voyager. Oh, right, yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah. Good point. I liked, you know, Captain Janeway with her kind of channeling Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> yeah, very good. Small That's version. True. Yes, Small version. Did. I like that. Well, and Seven it. of Nine, I like. Yeah. I always feel I would quite like to have a regeneration pod. <laughs> I could just go into each See, night. See, now I love Nigella even more. I love her for her amazing, <laughs> you know, sensual cooking show. And now now that the, the fact that she loves sci-fi as well. It's great. We've got uh, Ming-Na and Nigel, of course, coming up on the show. You're not going to want to miss this cast. next half hour. Oh, yeah. And Wait till you cast. meet our crazy cast. Yes. <laughs> they're the most fun people in the world. And we've got an audience for you. Oh, yeah, yeah that's and right. And some fun questions that we're going to And they're all going to be eating as well, so we've got to get this over there. We've got breakfast. Yeah. Oh, no. We'll wait till you cook for us. We'll be right back on Kennedy. And thank you both for doing this with us. <laughs> if even you can smell.